Charlie Clownfish and Annie A. A Tale of Best Friends. Written by Suzanne Tate and illustrated by James Melvin. Charlie Clownfish and Annie A. Charlie Clownfish was a fish full of color with wide white stripes. You look like a clown, his friend Annie A said. That makes me smile. Annie A was an anemone living at the bottom of the sea. She was happy when Charlie was nearby. Charlie Clownfish and Annie A were the best of friends. Every day they helped each other in important ways. In fact, they could not live without each other. I like you very much, said Charlie Clownfish one day. I like you too, said Annie A. You will never leave me, will you? Don't worry, we need each other, Charlie replied. But aren't you often clowning around, Annie A asked. It just looks like I'm doing that, Charlie answered. I stay busy chasing away your enemies but I will never be far away. And it was true, Charlie Clownfish stayed near Annie A, but it wasn't always that way. When Charlie was young, he swam up close to the anemone, slime from his body mixed with Annie A's stinging cells. Then he could live there without being stung. Charlie Clownfish kept Annie A clean by fanning his fins, but he often swam out from Annie A to look for food, but he never went far. I'll be back soon, he said to Annie A. Little plants and animals are all I need, and I will share food with you when I return. Charlie Clownfish had no fear when swimming away. His bright colors told all the animals that he could sting, just like Annie A. He was swimming out from Annie A one day when suddenly a hungry reef fish with sharp teeth was there. It was looking for a sea anemone treat. Charlie Clownfish was angry. He chased that big fish and scared it away. Charlie swam back to his home in Annie A. I'm glad I am glad you are here to protect me, she said. Just then, helpful humans swam nearby. They came to see if the water was safe for all the sea life. Charlie swam up and tried to bite the divers. What a brave little fish, one of them said. He is trying to protect his anemone. Charlie Clownfish swam again to Annie A. He fanned his fins and cleaned the anemone, and he dropped bits of food for her as promised. I am happy we are best friends, Charlie said, but I would like to find a colorful mate like myself. First, I will build a nest where she can lay some eggs. Charlie saw Connie Clownfish swimming near Annie A. He swam close to her and playfully nipped a fin. Then Charlie chased her to the nest beside Annie A. Connie Clownfish dropped hundreds of bright orange eggs into the nest. Charlie fanned and protected the eggs. Brittle sea stars wanted to eat them. Annie A helped too. She covered the eggs with her tentacles. In only four days, the eggs hatched. The baby clownfish would soon need an enemy homes of their own. Charlie Clownfish watched them swim away. I hope they'll find their best friends like the one I have, he said. Annie A waved her tentacles. Yes, she agreed. Everyone needs a best friend.